Good day, my dear YouTube friends. This week, no lame jokes for me. Oh, there comes the intro. Yeah, we got a lot of uh, lot of work on our plate this week. Uh, we start immediately with uh, with showing you what I did to the electrics. I have uh, basically finished uh, installing uh, the electrics for the little house. The loft was already done. Down below I needed to uh, run the wires in uh, the conduits and later we are going to do a lot of rendering inside and out. So sit back and enjoy. Yeah, so I've managed to uh, electrify this old uh, oil lamp and I put a uh, filament light bulb in from the U, Philips U system which I can control from my phone. I also have a, will have a switch on off switch here, a circuit breaker switch. But uh, I can control it from my phone. I can set what time I want it on, what time I want it off, what light intensity. I can connect it to a motion sensor. I can collect, uh, connect it to a light sensor so that when the sun sets, it turns on and when the sun rises, it turns off. I can do everything with it. I can even do it remotely when I'm working very far away from here. I can control these lights. So uh, yeah, uh, it's it's pretty cool. I I really want to keep the house low tech, but uh, 
Yeah, I, I really like the Philips U light system. There, I'm, uh, there must be other really good systems out there, but uh, I'm familiar with, with this system and uh, yeah, I like it. I can, uh, I can control it for my phone. Uh, I think I will make a house iPad from where you can control all the lights and later the floor heating, uh, that sort of stuff. But, uh, ah, this is cool, isn't it? <laughs> I'm doing it for my phone. I figured uh, I put a white shirt on this morning because I was working on the lantern light, which is black. And as you know, normally I wear a black t-shirt, but I saw on the camera footage that uh, there's no contrast between the light when I'm holding it in front of me, in front of my black t-shirt, and you can't see anything. So I figured I, uh, I wear a white t-shirt and I try to stay clean didn't really work out um, it wasn't my plan actually to uh, start rendering this side wall of the little house outside the side wall now at this stage why because I want to have the interior finished but the problem is that I need to install the outside light the lantern light um, after it is rendered and the wire goes inside and I need to do the electricity before I can close everything up so that means that I would have to wait until I can build complete finish the inside wall after the electrics are finished and the electrics can only be finished after I have rendered at least that part of the wall where the outside lantern la light is going to sit. That was one reason. And then the other reason is that, I don't know whether you can see it, but this vine here is really trying to uh, grow around the corner. And that's where we want to have it. We want to have, uh, we want to have these vines growing on the side of the house. But before we want to have the vines growing there, we want to have the site rendered. We want to have new rendering there so and and this vine is really uh, trying to uh, to get around the corner so yeah i am going to render uh, the site up until uh, slightly above ground because i need to dig this ground off the soil here we need to go almost a foot down in depth and also I still need to uh, partially rebuild this wall once I install the door the door frame because the opening for the door now is way wider than the actual door is going to be so what I'm going to render now is purely because uh, to aid 
me installing the light and uh, the vine to grow around the corner. Ah, you know what? I, I have time. I'm not in a rush anymore as I initially was, so uh, it, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> I'm really getting the hang of uh, rendering with uh, lime. It's it's really nice. It's uh, you gotta get it to the right consistency first, uh, like peanut butter or like uh, toothpaste. You slap it on. Make sure that all areas are covered. Don't worry about the texture. You'll reshape that later. Let it dry a little bit in. Reshape it with the trowel. Let it dry a little bit more. Reshape it with the trowel again. Flatten it. Let it dry a little bit more and then go over with a sponge once or twice, maybe three times. And you get a really, really smooth surface and all the corners are nicely rounded, shaped as you like. It's hard on the back, but it's a uh, very rewarding work. Good morning, my YouTube friends. It's another morning and uh, today it is supposedly going to be a dry day a sunny day but uh, moderate temperatures like 26 27 degrees which is perfect for me really really good um, yesterday i have made progress i have rendered this part of the outside wall and i needed to do that because i need to install the lights here the outside light, the little lantern light that I electrified and I need to do that because then I can close the inside wall with the tongue and groove planks so uh, yeah it was a priority to have this outside wall rendered and also this outside wall on the other side of where the door is going to be and the reason being is because this vine keeps growing and it wants to come around the corner so I gotta, I gotta really uh, have this wall rendered, um, which I, I wasn't planning at this stage, but uh, yeah, nature is uh, sort of in charge here. I've installed electrical outlets, one up high for lights, one low for like uh, a kerger, or as your Americans say, a karcher, high pressure washer. It's Kerger, by the way. It's not Kerger. It's German. Kerger. All right. That aside, inside I have done quite a bit. I have uh, lime rendered that whole wall and a little bit of uh, that wall where the kitchen block is going to be. I'm uh, pretty happy. Pretty happy. It's now grey, but that's because it's still humid. It will uh, turn up white and then uh, once it's fully set, fully cured, I will uh, give it a, uh, a quick sand to polish it and uh, then a lime wash on top. But the lime wash on top, I'll do it the very last stage that uh, after the floor has been laid and everything because I'm still going to create quite a bit of dust getting this uh, floor uh, completely uh, level. 
Um, what I've also done is I have completed the electrics on that side. The story with the electrics is that there's two groups in the main house for the small house. One is for all the outlets and the lights. The other group is for the electrical floor heating that's going to be here. I have run cables wire from the big house through the wall up in the loft then the wires run over uh, underneath the ceiling the highest beam in the ceiling still don't know what the official name for that word is the highest beam in the ceiling there's a light up there in the loft then there's an electrical outlet then they come down here and then it goes to this uh, this box uh, where everything is nicely uh, knotted together, all the wires. Uh, an outlet goes over that wall alongside this wall and that's going to be for a power point there. And power points in the kitchen. Um, this one here is going to be a uh, on off switch for the outdoor light. The outdoor light can also be controlled with the Philips U system. You can install a Philips U light switch, a wireless, etc. Uh, etc. Et but this is just a hard on off switch. Then uh, that one there goes to the outlets on the exterior and one cable runs down and it goes to two outlets on this wall yeah yeah that's gonna work that's gonna work maybe 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 I should divide the one in the corner there make an outlet there but then run a cable alongside this wall maybe behind the kicking board uh, so that I have power on that wall as well it's gonna be a uh, double door fridge over there yeah you, you cannot have too many outlets I uh, better invest a little bit more time and effort now than regret it later I might do that Anyway, for today, what I'm going to do, it's still in the morning, I'm still reasonably clean. No, I'm actually really clean. Uh, my clothes just come out of the laundry. I'm going to climb up in the loft. I'm going to install the ceiling lights there, install the outlet, then that's done. And then I am going to proceed with rendering the outside wall, the remainder bit, and then after that, um, I'm gonna finish off these walls with the lime wash that's the plan then later this afternoon I have to go to uh, pick up an etabli etabli that is an old wooden workbench uh, they're very trendy right now we are going to uh, the plan is that we're going to refurb the etabli or refurb condition it and turn it into a his and hers sink cabinet in the future bathroom it's about an hour's drive with the trailer uh, i bought it via facebook market marketplace for 150 euros which is really cheap because everybody seems to uh, run for these old etablis to convert them into all kinds of furniture uh, but i need to work a little bit on it one leg has been cracked uh, we'll see it's just uh, it's almost like the more damaged it is, the more rustic it looks. We'll see. 150 euros. I'm going to spend 50 euros on uh, on diesel uh, to drive there. 200 euros. That's still that's still a pretty pretty okay deal. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a busy day. Plenty plenty to do. Talk to you later.
So, back on the side, um, I had a, a, a number of problems yesterday. When I applied the lime rendering on that wall, I had completely prepped that wall with the uh, with the base coat that uh, that stuff that I mentioned before the show éclair Renault pass show éclair and uh, that that looks like this it, it's it's like a quite a soft buttery substance with a very fine sand in it very very fine and um, that works really well. You can level it, you can um, sand it, you can knock it back, you can really mold it to shape. And then with the lime rendering over it, it w works really, really well. Now, but I got yesterday to doing this wall. And if you've seen my previous episodes, I've done some trial and error research testing with a lime mortar lime mixed with sand what happened when i put on the lime rendering was that instantly it was dry instantly it started cracking as you can see and 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 and, and the, the the gray color disappeared and it became white meaning that it's dry so apparently the under coating the underground has sucked up all the moisture from my lime rendering instantly meaning that yeah that the show underneath the lime underneath is really dry and sucks up all the water but that's not good because you need to you need to work with with the rendering you need to even it out and, and smooth it etc so uh, this became a, a huge huge mess and now I'm testing and seeing what the damage is. So, and in some spots I have been able to put it on uh, quite okay. And that was because I took the hose and I just rigorously wetted the whole area made it super damp made the lime rendering uh, super super wet and, and more or less painted it on and then you know I, 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 I decided let's just stop with it uh, at some points you just gotta you gotta stop and uh, let it sit overnight reconvene and uh, and see what it is like the next morning and uh, what I'm now trying to figure out is how well the lime has adhered to the under layers. Because if it hasn't adhered properly, I gotta knock it back. I gotta all take it off and do it again. But then, see? You know what? I uh, I'm gonna take it all off and I'm gonna coat it again with Rhino Pass, and hopefully the Rhino Pass will adhere onto the old lime, and then seal it off, and then I can do a proper lime coating on the Rhino Pass. Because it's just uh, too much of a risk to leave it on and assume that it's all going to work out. I'm uh, really not happy, but in all honesty, this is the first setback that I have since I started working on this house. So uh, I think I shouldn't feel too bad. Yeah, the other while, this one has been drying now for two days. And it's still not not completely dry 
but uh, this looks a lot better. I, I will later uh, sand this, gently sand it to, uh, to give it a real smooth surface. Give it a little try now with a old bit of sandpaper, see what happens. So that turns out, you, you get that super smooth. And then after sanding, I will uh, obviously dust it and give it uh, a few coatings of a, uh, an appropriate wall paint. Because I don't want that, that dusty uh, in the house, that powdery, powdery walls. Yeah, all right, wow. Yeah, got it's it's all uh, it's all learning uh, I got some work to do okay catch you later Remember, yesterday I told you uh, I was going to pick up an etabli, which is a uh, workbench, a very old workbench that I found on Google Facebook Marketplace. Um, good news and bad news. Good news is it is really old and it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. You can see all the markings from heavy use in the past. It's, it's just a beautiful piece. but. Uh, the bad news is it's just falling apart. It's just crappy old. I just gotta rebuild the whole thing and restore it. But uh, I'm happy that I bought it. 
I got it for 150 euro and nowadays um, prices for these etabli they're, they're going up to the roof because uh, people are doing all kinds of creative things with it. We are going to put it in our future bathroom with a his and her sink on it. Uh, yeah, gonna look really cool, but I gotta completely rebuild it. You'll see. Well, that's where it's going to live for now. Just don't have any other space. One day, this is going to be a beautiful living room. I'm going to knock out that wall, incorporate the kitchen. Yeah, it's going to be cool. One day. So, we have arrived at yet another episode of this old house. I am uh, just finishing this last wall with the lime rendering and luckily it's all working out. I've uh, treated the whole wall with uh, Reno Pass and that has uh, sealed off the underlaying lime mortar layers. So uh, the lime coat that I apply now will adhere as it did with the other walls. After this I think uh, maybe a week of drying and curing and then uh, we're gonna we're gonna sand it smooth and then give it a, a number of coats with uh, an appropriate wall paint. I haven't made my choice yet but uh, we'll find something. Next week is gonna be uh, carpentry. A lot of carpentry. I am going to uh, make a door frame, install the door, I am going to make uh, the window in the loft. I am going to make a temporary uh, toilet because we are not connected to the sewage as of yet and uh, when I move in I will need to, uh, to have a toilet of some sorts. So I am going to make uh, what they call a composting uh, toilet. It's basically you flush with sawdust. It, uh, it takes time getting used to it but uh, I've used the toilet uh, in friends places who are building off-grid and uh, remote locations and uh, yeah it works fine it's just like a cat's litter box really you gotta remove uh, the bag of sawdust with uh, your deposits uh, daily but uh, and it will work fine so I'm gonna build that one I'm gonna build some uh, trestles because I really need trestles for uh, that are appropriate for my height. I am uh, two meter tall, six, uh, six foot seven almost, and uh, the trestles that I have now uh, don't work for me. 
Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna install a threshold underneath the new door. Uh, just a lot of carpentry. Oh, and maybe I'm going to finish that last wall. That's all going to be tongue and groove. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. A lot of work coming up, all carpentry. Everyone, thank you very much for watching. If you want to, you could subscribe, but you don't have to. See you next week. Bye-bye.